I get a nap here. What is the meaning of this? Shut your mouth, you giant freak, or I will impale you with my royal arrow. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Oh, please don't eat me, sir. I didn't mean to my call you a giant freak. Oh, please, please don't eat me. Ah! I'm not going to hurt you, but I am very famished, very hungry. <laughs> Well, you know your station right now. Oh. In the land of his royal highness. Yes, what station are we stationed at? Whose kingdom are we in? Oh, why, in the land of his royal highness, the king of Lilliput. As you are famished, I shall take you to the capital city. The king has ordered such anyhow. Well, that would be quite, that would be quite decent of you, lad. I'll just finish our trying myself and we shall be off. By the king's orders, you shall do nothing of the sort. I suggest you obey, as I have a short temper. Well, we are the king. Where's the ropes? Watch your mouth, you wise guy. You know, the person of your short stature would be talking to me like this. These people are very small. How can they control me like this? I must be dreaming. That's it, yes, I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. Watch me do a I present you his majesty, the king of Lilliput. You're going to make me bow for such a short guy. Greetings, my large friend. Close your mouth. By all means, please untie yourself. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance in some respects. The pleasure's all mine, sire. And what is the name given to our rather oversized guest? Lemme Gulliver, sir. Gulliver. Lemme Gulliver. And what Sir Gulliver brings you to my domain? I, I, was, I was shipwrecked on your wretched shores. But, your highness, it is, it is very nice to meet you, sire. Ah! I see. Quite, uh, you are famished then, eh? Yes, your highness. I have had nothing to eat for several weeks. I mean, days. Oh, a beast of royal proportions is planned for the end of this evening. In the meantime, however, please accept this hard-boiled egg as a token of my hospitality. Oh, I love hard-boiled eggs. It's right here. Why don't you eat it? Oh, thank you. Oh. Boy, we're going to be sorry later. <laughs> Thank you, sire. Aha! It's just as I had suspected. Your training has failed you miserably, Sir Gulliver. What? What? what is, I don't understand. It is obvious that you have been sent here by the king of Belfusco to destroy this blessed nation. But I'm under your scheme, Sir Gulliver. What scheme? What scheme, your highness? I'm eating a freaking egg. <laughs> Don't play stupid with me. A fool like me can tell when a smart cookie like you is trying to pull one on him. I mean, you are the smart cookie and I am the fool. Wait, let me think this over. Sire, I, I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Uh, two kingdoms at war over the which end of the egg to eat? Well, let me smash it on my forehead. <laughs> I gave you the egg test and you failed miserably. Everyone knows that the ancient scriptures tell us to eat hard boiled eggs from the round side first. <laughs> and you eat yours from the pointed side first. It's really See, my food easier. Seeing as how the dim witted ruler of the other kingdom, which we are at with, with which we are at war, is dense enough to believe that the ancient scriptures tell us to eat the eggs from the pointed side first, he obviously forgot to order you to eat them from the round side first. So that you might better fit in and destroy our most pious kingdom. Sire, if, that's, if that is what it takes to earn your trust. <laughs> oh boy, am I in trouble. If that is what it takes to earn your trust, Your Highness, it shall be so. But first I'm going to eat the other end of the egg, too. May I, may I be on time now, Sire? <laughs> Thank you.
You should not talk to them up, world. Is that what they teach you in England? Sire, sire, you you have the advantage of me, sire. You think you must think we're awfully silly, you say, huh? You oh, said, you know, I can't believe two countries are at war over a silly egg. Oh, it's a very silly thing. Oh, so you say, so you say, awfully silly, huh? Must be fifty of you me down. You, you, sir, are either a very good actor or you are telling telling the truth. Yes, Perhaps sir. you are not a Belfuscan spy after all. Yes, sir. <laughs> but there is only one way to be certain. You yes. are to travel to the enemy's domain and bring back to Lilliput the entire Belfuscan fleet. Yes, sir. All in the name of piety, of course. Yes, sir. That is what it takes to gain your trust, Your Highness. It shall be done. Go then, Sir Gulliver. Wipe off your face. <laughs> may I untie myself now? Well, go with God's be done, your holy crusade. Okay, may I untie myself now? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're lost. And so, I reluctantly set off to capture the Belgian's kidney. Ooh, dry egg. And they're actually fighting over that. Egg. They're fighting over that. They're killing each other over that egg. Which end do you eat? <laughs> oh, 